today we're gonna be looking at the highly anticipated Air Jordan 3 in the fire red OG colorway. We've seen multiple retro versions from the past, but never an OG iteration similar to the 1988 pair. So this is gonna be something new that all of us sneakerheads have been waiting for for many of years. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Hey! On this channel, I love talking about sneakers and especially giving you guys dope reviews like this. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing and joining the fam. We're on the road to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to get us there. Starting with the box right here, you have your classic OG style Air Jordan 3 box with the lift off lid, all black right here with the matte black and then the red jump man in the center. Going all around the bottom half of the box, you have your elephant print. And then on the size tag, it reads Air Jordan 3 retro white fire red black retail 210 bucks now taking off the lid of the box right here you have your elephant paper and then you have your little pamphlet and this actually comes with all the information for the three we started to see this come in the packaging again giving you that og nostalgic vibe with all the details that break down the sneaker from the upper the inside the insoles the air units the foot air sole unit, the foot frame midsole, outsole, everything like that that you're gonna need to know is all gonna be right here on the pamphlet. So that is one dope aspect to see that they're bringing that back to life again for this sneaker in particular. Now with the paper right here, you have your all over elephant print on the top. And then it looks like you have a second set of white paper and then you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. Okay, first impressions of this sneaker, bro. These might be retro of the year. Like these things go crazy, bro. I can't believe they really did this. I got a million and one thoughts and opinions about this sneaker, which I'll save for you guys till the end of the video. But for now, before we start breaking down all the styles, cuts and materials, you know we gotta talk about the history first. So back in 1988, Jordan started to make his stance with his brand and his sneakers. And we saw him take the court in the All-Star game in the black cement Air Jordan 3, but also he wore the white cement Air Jordan 3 that year when he jumped from the free throw line to win the dunk contest. Now we all remember this very iconic image with seeing Michael Jordan soaring through the air and him wearing those white cement threes and causing that shoe in particular to not only be one of the staple shoes in the game, but also one of the most iconic sneakers as well. Also in 1988, he wore the fire red Air Jordan 3s like you see him here on court rocking the different pairs. And here's a look at some of the OG pairs, which we'll talk about comparisons and cuts and everything in a bit but it is crazy to see that they're finally bringing this back after all these years and one thing people may or may not know is the true blue air jordan 3 was one of those og air jordan 3s that was part of the four colorways that we saw a lot of people think of the white cements black cements and the fire red threes but you can't forget the true blues and after all these years we have seen so many different retros of the black cement threes and the white cement threes and all the different iterations over the time as they slowly remaster it but i think when it comes to them bringing back an og air jordan 3 out of all the ones that we've seen, whether it been Black Cement, White Cement, True Blue, or Fire Red, this is probably the best one out of all the retros to ever be created, in my opinion. And one of the reasons why I say that is they've done the best job at recreating the OG styles and cut of the sneaker, the colors and the materials. I think they've done a tremendous job and you'll see that throughout the video as we start breaking down the shoe. So speaking of that, let's go ahead and start getting into the details. Starting with the outsole, you got your predominantly gray areas with the red hit at the ball of the foot and the Nike branding at the center at the back of the foot. Now, typically on retros, you get the Jordan branding. So to see them put that Nike on there and give you that OG nostalgic vibe, again, another nice touch. Now going up to the midsole, you got a two-tone color midsole with the red on the top and white on the bottom, an all-white air unit and the red wrapping around, stopping halfway through the center of the midsole. Now going to the upper on the materials, it's kind of like a tumbled leather, but it's kind of smooth and it feels really good. Now, is this the best quality Air Jordan 3 ever? No, but I think for what they have done, this is definitely a really nice shoe. Looking at the smooth leather as well around the mudguard area i know from the past we've seen different retros but this smooth leather kind of looks a lot more plasticky and it's more firm and it's harder like that these ones right here actually have a nice softer touch and i've been hearing that the upper is actually covered with actual leathers on this shoe which means the shoe is going to wear really well and look really good over time and before we get any deeper into the video i gotta mention we are going to be comparing these against the 2007 version as well so stick around for that for the comparisons because these are definitely a little bit different to say the least now looking at the elephant print on the upper right here this is going to be more similar to that og style as you see right here with the og image and these have that color to them with the grays and the blacks now if you look at the 2007 or the 2013 retro you can see on the upper those both have a black elephant print so like i was saying the different changes and iterations over the years we've seen kind of slight tweaks but now they are going back to that og style giving us 
the best version as they can to that OG style and OG cut, even with the tab not being higher than the actual ankle area, because I know on some retros, the tab is a little bit higher, kind of flush with this as well, which is again, some people may or not know or even care about, but that's a whole nother thing. Now these come equipped with a pair of white standard laces right here. No additional laces, but they do have a hang tag with that OG Nike Air vibe to it. Again, giving you a nice piece of nostalgia and having all the trims that come along with it, just like the pairs back in the day. Now on the tongue, you have a perforated gray area right here at the bottom half and a smooth white leather at the top, a red Jumpman embroidered at the front end. And then you have a more defined perforated gray leather here with the three plastic loops in the middle of that. Now looking at the back end of the tongue, you got that red material. And then on the inside of the sock liner, you got that gray. And going to the insole, you have an all red with the white Nike Air. Now saving one of the best parts for last, and that is the Nike Air on the back end of the foot right here. You got the white tab with the red Nike Air. And I'm telling you right here, the nostalgia behind this is insane. For all the OG heads, all the OG collectors, people that really want the Nike Air on the sneakers that came with the Nike Air from way back in the day and seeing all this stuff coming back to life. And I'm sure there's so many OG heads from back in the 80s and early 90s that have just so many memories, so much nostalgia behind this and just can't wait to get their hands on these shoes. So now when it comes to the 2007 pair right here, as you can see, yes, the two shoes definitely do look very similar, but to a sneaker head, there's gonna be like a lot of big differences. So let's try to run over them real quick. These ones are a little bit puffier around the ankle area. The tongue is puffier, doesn't have the fold over. The jump man is different. The materials, the color, the shades, the laces were actually a lot thicker on the older pair. The type of tumble on the leather, the smoother leather, and then obviously the elephant print with the black compared to the gray vibes. And then on the back end, like we said earlier, you got jump man with the air on here. And you got the Nike air right here, giving you that OG style. And then like I was talking about with the bottoms, you see you got the Jordan right here and the Nike right there. So that's like a quick rundown of the two shoes and hopefully those B-roll shots let you guys see the differences between the two as I was going over them. And the reason why I'm showing you guys this pair is they're different, yes, but for me, back in 2007, there were just so many reasons why I had loved the shoe because this was the best version I could get since the OG had came out and it was like so nostalgic at that time and still nostalgic now at this time, which is crazy to think, right? And I used to wear these all the time. I used to have multiple pairs, love this sneaker. I saw the 2013 pair come out and I was not a fan of them. I didn't like how bulky they were around the toe. Uh, you know, I, I think that era of, you know, 2015 to 2013, sometimes, you know, 2012 to 2016, whatever you want to call it, that kind of window. There was a lot of bad retros coming out, not like, the shoe colorway, but just like how they built the shoes and the shape and everything like that. So again, the reason why I'm so happy to see this come back, give us that OG style, that OG cut, all that nostalgia behind it and do it right. I feel like Jordan Brand definitely made up for themselves from the 2013 version. Now I know some people say they might like the 2013 version more than the 2007. I don't know. I feel like personally, a lot of people that I talked to that were collectors over the years, they like the 2007 pair better. But again, that's all to each his own. Whoever likes what is, you know, it doesn't matter. It's whatever we all like. So let's take it to the polls real quick and see what everybody's talking about when it comes to this shoe, if they think it's fire or trash. And then we'll compare these two right here and see which one people like the most. So if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG so you can participate in all the polls and see all the results here on the channel. I asked the people the question, if this shoe is fire or trash? And this is what they said. 96% of the people chose fire and 4% of the people chose trash. And honestly, that is very high, respectable, and I completely understand that because like I said, I think this might be one of the retros of the year. In my opinion, these things go crazy. There's so much nostalgia, the execution, everything that goes along those lines makes sense as to why these would have such a high rating for the audience and people just desiring to get this shoe in their collection. Now, when it comes to these versus the 2007 pair, completely understand these results as well. 28% to 72% choosing the 2022 retro with that OG nostalgia completely makes sense. And I would honestly pick this one over those two. Again, I have so many memories with those ones from the past but I'm ready to make memories with these ones in the future. Another thing that I've heard a lot of people talk about is, well, if I can get the Contrita 3s or the Cardinal 3s, why would I buy these? They're like the same shoe. And the only thing that I gotta say is, yes, those are nice colorways, but at the end of the day, those wouldn't be anything dope and nobody would care about them if it wasn't for a sneaker like this and one of the OGs. So for me, I always gotta show love and respect to the OG. And yes, I do think these are better than the Katrinas and I do think they're better than the Cardinals and the actual quality, shape, craftsmanship and everything like that is better than them as well because I have those other shoes in my collection and I can guarantee you these are nicer 
all around. And last but not least, we gotta talk about the demand and the numbers on this shoe. Right now, like I said, the shoe is about $210 retail, so you're gonna see it hovering around the mid 300s right now for the resale before the shoe comes out. They come out in about a week, and then we'll see what happens, price goes down. But over time, this is gonna easily be a $300 plus dollar sneaker with no problem, simply because it's a classic iconic model. You just gotta give it some time. We've seen prime example, the True Blue Threes. Those were sitting for a while. But it's still a classic OG colorway. No matter how terrible they deal with the quality of the shoe, it's an OG colorway. Give it some time, next thing you know, price goes up and you still gotta pay that premium to get the shoe. So I think if you really want this shoe, go after it. I think you should have a good chance. There's gonna be a lot of places to buy the shoe for retail. If you guys wanna see where to get the shoe for retail, I can make a video about that as well to help you guys out. And hopefully that's a good enough look for you guys to let you know if you wanna get this shoe or not. Appreciate you as always, see you in another one. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and wanna grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges so all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section that will get you set up and into the community i'm excited to see you guys on the inside if you made it to the end of this video let me know down below in the comment section what is your favorite og3 colorway the white cement the black cement the fire red or the true blue that's a tough one, bro. Oh, that's a tough one. Y'all, yeah, let me know down below. All right, y'all, I'm out.